How's it going guys and welcome back to the farm. So, um, it is snowing. It is actually snowing, which is beautiful, but it is a bit of a problem because I wanted to get a crop in before winter hits and now I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I don't know if we can do maybe like a winter crop. I, I don't know, I'll have to look into that. But anyway, um, it, it is nice though, but we're going to work through that today because I want to work on this piece of land. So for those who don't know, we're renting a house up here and it sort of included this piece of land, which we were told by the landlord that we can farm if if we're able to. Um, it is a bit bumpy, so it might be a little bit difficult. And we don't have a great tractor, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, the thing is, we don't have a plow. But I went onto the old googly, and I looked around, and there's actually a guy just down the road, like literally just down the road, um, that is selling an old sort of... I don't know if it's a cultivator or a plow, or I don't know exactly what you want to call it, but he's selling something that we could use. Um, to sort of plow up the field. I don't know what it's actually called. I think it's a um, cult culty plow. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyways, um, we're going to have a drive down and see what this thing looks like. Um, so the asking price online was $3,000. I think we can maybe get it down a little bit. We'll negotiate and see. Um, obviously, that is dependent on the condition of this piece of equipment but it would be nice to get something it would be nice to have our first piece of equipment and actually get some sort of farming done that is ours as our sort of own thing because we've done a lot of farming work but it's always for someone else but um yeah unfortunately our money situation is a bit slow at the moment and um i mean yeah we're gonna need a lot of equipment like a lot so oh there we are is this the address yeah, I think this is it. Right. Um, so I think that is our piece of equipment over there. That looks like it. Um, right. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. I mean, it might work. I, I don't know if this is powerful enough to pull it, but... I mean, we can always sell it again if it doesn't work, but um, yeah, let's see. Let's have a chat to the owner and um, see if we can come to a deal. All right, so we came to a deal of two and a half thousand dollars for this. So it is called a combi plow and it's from AgriSim and it's sort of like a chisel plow. And I genuinely think it's going to be a good piece of equipment for us if this thing can actually pull it because it is only two wheel drive. And it doesn't have a huge amount of power, but I'm hopeful is probably all I can say. I, I think it might work. I, I just genuinely don't know, but I'm optimistic it might work. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, if it doesn't, we'll just sell this thing off on auction. Um, the, the plow, not, not the tractor. Although we might even sell the, the tractor. I, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, but that was a pretty good deal. And now it's just a matter of, is it actually going to work? While we drive back to the farm, though, um, some of you were asking how Jimmy did in terms of fishing. And I was actually going to tell you guys about that. He did fine. He, he did really good. Um, he caught a couple of really good ones as well, actually. Um, but yeah, we were just sort of opposite sides of the lake. And yeah, sort of keeping to ourselves, really and just enjoying nature but he did fine he did absolutely fine he got a couple of good ones so he was happy enough right um i did walk down the fence line and i noticed that a bit further down there is actually a spot that we can get into this field which is great it means we doesn't we don't have to sort of tear down the fence which i kind of don't want to do because it's a rented property if it was our own place, fine, but it's not. So, yeah, there's a little gap in here, um, which will fit through just fine. And now we have to sort of figure out what exactly we're going to do here. Hmm. Okay, how big are we going to make this and how far are we going to come up the hill here? Because it's just going to make planting difficult and harvesting difficult and... Yeah, I, I don't want to make this... I want to make this as... Obviously as big as I possibly can. Because money. 
but I don't want to make it too difficult for ourselves. We can probably get really close to the road. I think there's probably a bit of a limit, to be fair, of what we'll be allowed to do. But I think something like this. Hmm. I think that'll work. Anyway, uh, we'll figure it out as we go. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to send the drone up. And we're going to drop into a time lapse and then um, we'll get this knocked out. So for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. Alright, so that is job done and I have to say I was genuinely genuinely impressed with what this thing was able to do I mean you would struggle a little bit if you put a wheel onto the plowed dirt You would get some slip, but that's understandable being two-wheel drive But that thing's actually got a bit of power that was impressive. It was genuinely impressive There wasn't many moments where that thing struggled. So that's good and obviously we've got a bit of a rock problem here and I think if we just leave it it will affect our yield on whatever crop we put in here. The thing is though, I don't think we have the means to deal with it. So we might just have to live with it for now, at least until we can deal with it. I just don't think we'll have the money to, to look into equipment to deal with that. But I don't know what it'll cost. We, we might have a look around and see if we can find something. If we can't, we'll just have to live with it and take the knock until we have enough money to get equipment to deal with this sort of a thing. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty bad, but, I mean, we'll we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, so, um, oh, hang on, that's, that's my phone again. Hello? Alright, so that was actually a very interesting conversation. So that was a local recruitment agency that works with freelance farmers and they heard about me through Michael apparently so Michael has actually been a very big help to us sort of behind the scenes getting us other jobs and now getting us connected with this recruitment agency so they wanted to know if I wanted to sign up to it and then if any farmers in the area is looking for like a short-term worker then they well we're available for it so they can sort of go yeah i want this guy and off you go we've got a job and i said sure i mean it sounds like a good deal to me and um they actually said that they've got a job for us immediately so hmm i'm thinking should i drop off yeah let's let's drop the plow so they gave me an address and i don't know who this job is for they don't really say all i know is it's a local farmer but um, we are going to go do a cultivating job for them. So that'll be interesting. And uh, we'll just disconnect this here. There we are. Right. Um, so it's a, a bit of a drive to get there. But should be okay. And I'm sort of starting to know the area a little bit better now. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks really, really nice. That is genuinely a decent sized field. That is not bad at all. That It looks a lot bigger now than what it did when it was just grass. Um, so hopefully that'll bring in some decent money for us. And the thing is, we need a lot of money to actually make money out of that. So I don't really know what to do. Because we're still sitting on a $5,000 loan. Oh, and I did actually pay our rent. So I didn't forget about that. I did pay Jimmy his rent, his $1,000 and um, so that'll last us about a week 
and but yeah that's paid for and we're sitting on thirteen hundred dollars which is not great really not great so yeah money is very very tight at the moment and it is worrying because like i say we're gonna need quite a bit of money for things like probably lime i think we're gonna have to lime that field uh, before we can put anything in it and we're gonna need seed and we need equipment i mean we can sort of buy secondhand equipment where it's available and we can probably loan some equipment where it's available but again it's gonna have to be equipment that is suitable to this machine and i don't think there's a lot of that sort of equipment out there small equipment it seems like most of the guys around here um have pretty substantial pieces of equipment which is not ideal for us i mean they might have some old stuff sitting around that we don't know of i i don't know but we'll have to sort of ask around and see if we can get some stuff i think jimmy is probably going to be the first guy to go to and ask if he's got some stuff sitting around or if he knows anyone in the area that's got some stuff sitting around that we can either just sort of rent off them or just borrow um oh they've still got some really nice pieces of equipment out here doesn't look like they've got anything new out um right so i was told to go down here off the main road and then the first right and the equipment should be there so again i don't know who whose farm this is um i don't know whose equipment this is we don't sort of get that information apparently we just get told there's a job for you which is fine it's it's absolutely fine by me i see a cultivator on the left here so i'm thinking that's oh that is oh that is nice that is really really nice look at that my goodness now that is a piece of equipment ladies and gentlemen my well this is gonna be a fun one this thing's huge as well look at that that is beautiful 8rx 310 fantastic oh listen to that smooth buttery buttery smooth fantastic right we've got gps and everything in this thing goodness me so apparently the field that we are supposed to do is this one um so we'll get this unfolded righty and um as always we are gonna get the drone out and we are gonna do this in a time lapse and um, this is definitely gonna be a fun one but um let's get this in the in the ground first and sort of see what we're working with oh yeah oh yeah that is nice 15 kilometers an hour this does i mean i'm foot to the floor right now that's pretty freaking good that is really good that is so nice though this tractor is smooth i mean i can see the cultivator is sort of moving around quite a bit with like undulations and things but the tractor is smooth i mean smooth that is fantastic absolutely brilliant oh, this thing is beautiful inside gorgeous piece of equipment this is man it's a it's a big change from our our little white i'll tell you that much someday someday we'll have nice equipment like this i hope i really really hope <laughs> at the moment it feels like it's maybe a little bit far-fetched but um yeah i think i think we'll be okay i really hope we'll be okay um all right so that is one pass done didn't take long at all but we are gonna jump into that time lapse get the drone out and um yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit
right, so that is job done, and that didn't really take that long at all. And it was really fun. This is an absolute beast of a machine. I love it. Absolutely fantastic tractor this is. Right, so we are gonna just leave this here. Oh, I don't want to say bye. So nice. So, so, so. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Back into our little white. Okay, so, um, yeah, that is probably the last time we'll see that for a for some time. Hopefully we'll we'll get to drive something like that again soon here. Um, so yeah, we just leave that there and then I'll notify the agency that we've completed the job and then hopefully the money will get sent over to us, which will be great. And um, when I say sort of freelance farming, what I mean is sort of like, or freelance farmers, um, I mean like a farm hand, freelance farm hand. So yeah, it's pretty cool this agency. And I'm um, still hasn't stopped snowing and it's starting to sort of build up on the roads as well now, which is not not ideal. Anyway, right. So, um we are gonna head home. I'll notify the agency that we have completed that job. And yeah, hopefully hopefully we'll get paid. I'm not sure how long it actually takes for the money to get paid over, but um yeah, we'll see. It's definitely, definitely starting to stick now. It was a good while that it was snowing that it didn't actually stick, but um, definitely sticking now. This is not good. Right. Anyways, um, we're going to head home. So, yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right. So, I pulled over real quick and let the agency know that I finished the job. And they literally paid the money over into my account immediately. So, we got about $1,600... Uh, sorry, $1,350 for that job. So, not amazing, but it's okay. It's decent. It covers the rent for another week at least. And, um, yeah, it's still snowing, which is is concerning i have to say but um yeah this thing was pretty impressive today i have to say that that actually did really well and our new piece of equipment over here our combi plow worked really really well i don't know when we'll be able to to use that again probably not for some time and the snow's really starting to stick even on the mailbox here hmm not good um i don't know what we're gonna do with this field i don't know if we're gonna be able to get a crop in I'll have to see if we can get some sort of a winter crop in, but I don't know. We also don't have equipment to do that, and we don't really have money. So I think our next priority is just going to be money. Maybe we can get a big job and make some, like, a good 10 grand or so. I don't know if anyone will pay that, though. I don't, I don't think anyone would pay that for for a farmhand to be fair but that would be ideal if we could get like a big job um get some good money going then we can buy at least a planter maybe what is that no idea looks like fog i guess yeah it's fog rolling in hmm interesting but um yeah so we really need a good cash injection here so that we can get a plant and things and maybe even something to get rid of these rocks and i think we're gonna have to do lime here as well so, um, we're going to need a spreader and we need a lot of equipment and it's just a bit of a problem. But anyway, we'll, we'll look at that in the next episode. So we're going to leave it there for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.